Good evening, everybody. This is Gary Lee Stanley, your announcer. Okay, we're on Comedy Central here at Gary Lee Stanley Comedy Radio. And we've got a great interview today with one of our characters. And our character's name today, what is your name, sir? His name is Sir Mr. Dips a lot. What do you think? I said Sir Mr. Dips a lot. How are you doing today, Mr. Dips a lot? Well, I'll tell you what, I'm doing pretty damn good. What did you say? I said I'm doing pretty damn good. Uh, you sound a little confusing, sir. We're on the radio and everybody's listening. And did you say you're doing what? I said I'm doing this. Hold on, man. Let me tell you this dip out of my mouth. I said that I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> oh, okay. Now I can understand what you're saying. So, you know, why do they call you? Hold on a minute. Let me put my dip back in my mouth. Uh, sir, I'd appreciate it if you would just talk to me regular. Now I got to have me a dip in my mouth at all times because I am sir dips a lot. Sir, I'll tell you what, you sound like you got something in your mouth. I heard a lot of, uh, 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 and uh, it's a little confusing. So if, if you, I, I'm going to ask you some questions, so I hope it doesn't offend you. And uh, here we go. Oh, no, it ain't going to offend me. Everything is all right. I'll just talk with you. We'll have a conversation. Uh, okay. <laughs> all right, folks, you heard what he said. He said, Something. So let's go ahead and start asking our guests some questions. So, Mr. Snuffs, I mean, uh, dips a lot. Uh, how did you get into uh, dipping, chewing tobacco, and, and stuff like that? Dip. Uh, I've been doing dip since I was a young man in middle school. In middle school, we thought we were real cool. You know, what we would do is we get this stuff called Skull and Copenhagen uh, and this stuff called Grizzly and we would put it in our mouth and we thought we were cool. Now, we used to dip and spit in our bottles all the time and I will tell you what, we had a lot of fun. Uh, okay, uh, did you say you were in middle school or high school? I said middle school. <laughs> okay, so you started dipping in middle school. Where did you pick up such a nasty habit? Hey, that ain't nice. It's not a nasty habit. Uh, it's it, Well, okay, I guess that's up to interpretation. Uh, you know, a lot of my guests would like to know, uh, how did you get started doing it? I know you said you did it in middle school, but how did you get started dipping? Well, my grandma... She was a snuff uh, person. Did you say snuff? Yeah, snuff. Uh, okay, well, that's kind of rough, snuff. Now, what was the name of the particular product? Do you remember what she was using? Oh, yeah, my grandma used to use this stuff called Garrett Snuff. It's one of the oldest uh, uh, companies that has snuff. Um, isn't that nasty? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, it's a little bit nasty. I remember trying to give my grandma a kiss around a little boy, and she'd get a little bit of that juice on my face. I'm going to tell you what, it was disgusting. <laughs> it sounds really disgusting. I'm about ready to throw up. So what you're saying is she had, she was a snuff uh, dipper or snuff person. Yeah, she put that in between her cheeks and her gums. But I didn't like it too much because when I tried it when I was a kid, I remember I tried it and it got all over my mouth and it was just not easy to pack. And when you're a dipper, you need to be able to pack it right and it's very funny your lips. And the way she was doing it, like always, she was spitting all the time and it just never looked right. I just thought it was disgusting. Uh, so why did you start dipping? Well, you know, you don't mean to start doing it. And what happened is you see your friends out there, you're out there doing Skull and Copenhagen and, Co I mean, Copenhagen and Grizzly. And they're also doing tour tobacco. And, you know, instead of smoking cigarettes, because we thought cigarettes were gross. Uh, they are pretty gross. So what you're saying is instead of uh, smoking cigarettes, you were dipping. Oh, yeah, I dip all the time. I, I, dip, I dip and dip. Well, let me ask you a question. You know, I've heard that it's not really healthy for you to dip. I heard that it can cause cancer of your larynx, your jaw, your mouth, cancer of, you know, all kinds of different types of cancer. 
Well, it does happen. I've had some friends of mine who got cancer and they lost their lip, they lost their throat. It was pretty disgusting. But that doesn't mean anything. I'm addicted to it and I like it because I've got a lot of nicotine in it. Well, how much do you normally dip per day? Well, uh, I probably dip probably almost a can a day. Well, that sounds expensive. I heard that the prices of dip has really gone up. Well, yeah, when I was a kid, you used to be able to get a can of dip for like 25 and 30 cents. Well, how much are you paying now? About $5.50 a day. Holy cow, man, what a drug. Boy, they really got you by the ball. I mean, they really got you some there. Uh, yeah, they got me, but I still love the dip. Well, I heard also that when you dip, it can cause you to have oral cancer. Uh, what is that? I said oral cancer. Uh, you know, for your, your teeth, you know, to rot and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, I used to have some real poopy teeth. They were real white. But for, I've been dipping for now for about 40 years. And I'm going to tell you what. Uh, my teeth is all ground down, they look disgusting, they're all brown, and some of my friends, dip, they ain't got no teeth no more. So it's easy if you ain't got no teeth, so uh, if you're planning on dipping, <laughs> uh, I will tell you that uh, it's not a good thing. It will ruin your, your dental and your teeth. Well then, why do you still dip? Because I've been dipping since I was a kid, a young guy. And I remember being in high school, you know, we say to the girls, hey baby, hey. And girls would look at us, they give some kiss and stuff. We were pretty back then, but now we don't look that good. Dang, you sound terrible. So you actually had girls that would give you a kiss, even when you had that crap in your mouth. Oh yeah, some of the girls, they dip too. What? I said some of the girls, they would dip too. Well, that sounds, I mean, uh, that sounds pretty pathetic. That sounds gross. So, uh, so what happened with a lot of your friends? Well, a lot of my friends, they stopped dipping and they started smoking cigarettes. But I didn't want to get cancer. Did you say you didn't want to get cancer? Uh, yeah. Didn't you say that, that you had friends of yours who got dip cancer from their lips and stuff like that? Yeah, but, you know, it's a little bit different, you know. I mean, you got the different types and stuff. Well, I heard that it burns the inside of your lips after a while. Oh, yeah, it turns them raw, and then it's like fire. But after a while, it gets so dead there, you don't even feel it anymore. It's really great. Uh, <laughs> well, let me ask you a question. Uh, when don't you dip? Well, I normally go to bed and I keep a, a little bit of dip in my mouth because at nighttime I like to, you know, I don't know why, it's just a habit I like to have in there so I can get that nicotine feeling and that dip. And I like it because, you know, I like to change up on a daily basis. Sometimes I do skull because I like that piney stuff and then I like the grizzly because it's really, really green, uh, greenish. And then I like the Copenhagen. That stuff tastes like crap. It looks, boy, but I'll tell you what, I give you a buzz. A buzz? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you say it'll give you a buzz? Yeah, you ain't got to dip before. That stuff will give you a buzz. It'll make you... A, you got to be real careful because some people, they like to drink. And when they like to drink, they like to do their business with the Copenhagen skull and so forth. And what happens is they forget they got it in their mouth. It's real funny to watch these guys because, man, they'll say, look, 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 look. And next thing you know, they'll be throwing up all over the place. That sounds disgusting. So are you telling me that your friends, they drink, uh, they drink, and at the same time, they're dipping? Oh, yeah, I do it all the time. I put it on the side of my mouth, and I drink my drink, and it just goes right down. Doesn't that burn? Oh, yeah, my esophagus is almost burned up. But it's okay. I love alcohol, and I love to dip. Holy cow. So, you know, are you saying that your friends, they, they'll get drunk and then they'll eat that stuff? Oh, yeah, they'll swallow it and they'll up all over the place. It's hilarious. Oh, crap. Are you kidding me? It's hilarious. Well, I'm going to tell you what, sir. I'm, I'm appalled. Uh, why are you appalled? Well, I don't know. Actually, I'm grossed out. Why are you grossed out? Well, I'm grossed out because, man, it sounds nasty. Well, it's like, you know, everybody does what they want to do. And I don't smoke no cigarettes like my friends do. And they all got, you know, they, they smoke cigarettes and stuff. Well, sir, don't you want to save money? Well, you know, I like to save money and stuff like that, but when you get a ditch and something, it's really hard to quit. 
<laughs> Sir, I, I'm just going to say this. You know, our fans are listening to this. Do you recommend that uh, kids start dipping? Hell no. Uh, wait a minute. I thought you just said that it was really, really good. You enjoy doing it. I do enjoy it. But the problem is, if I had to do it all over again, I never would have started. Oh, my gosh. Are you telling me you never would have started? I would never have started because it's caused me a lot of problems. I haven't been able to find the right girl. And the reason being is because 